<clears throat> today, this morning, I went down and scrolled down memory lane. And I also watched this skit. I watched this skit on um, the downfalls of being. Ooh, look at my face. I haven't washed it this morning yet. So I got all the oils. I'm not sunburning myself, you know. I just put uh, my face was like, bitch, what are you doing? Like, my body is like, what are you doing to me? Um, in general, with all of the things that I've been adding to it, especially drinking freaking diet sodas. I've been drinking diet Pepsi like it's nobody's business. And mind y'all, I'm not a soda drinker. <laughs> I usually just drink water or wine. And lately it's been, uh, no, it's been uh, Pepsi too. But anyways, so I, yes, yeah, so I was watching this skit on the, uh, this, this comedic skit, which was, it was hilarious and genius, by the way, um, of the downfall of being an inconsistent friend. And I was reading the comments of everybody and people talking about like, you know, being the inconsistent friend, but then also some people were like, you know, it goes both ways. Like people have to go and interact with people both ways. But I think about myself and I'm a step further than the inconsistent friend. Like I am the worst friend. Um, I am the worst friend at consistency. However, you need me. If you could find me, I'm there. If you could find me, I'm there. Um, if you need me. But I realized that even then, like I'm not, so I'm not a consistent friend and I'm not a consistent person like I'm I'm not a consistent person so it's not like the the next time you see me I'm totally different right but I just think about like I'm not a consistent friend I'm not a consistent family member um I used to be really good at, at juggling it all and navigating it all like spending time with friends but then my thing is I have to see you I have to see you in order for me to to be there for you. But if you're not in my like every day, it's really hard for me to kind of value you. And I know that's weird. Like it's weird to say, right? But it's the truth. Like it's hard for me to value a person's presence in my life if I don't if I'm not seeing them or interacting with them on a daily basis. Really more so seeing them on it. And honestly, it's more so the fact, like, you have to live with me in order for me to be, like, consistent with you. Um, be consistent with you. But even, even then, like, I'm just horrible. Like, I am consistently inconsistent. And so I'm a person you, if you can let me come and go. <laughs> I know this sounds fucked up. If you, if you can let me come and go, you will see a consistency out of me. Like, then you will be like, okay, like, she disappeared, but she's going to be back in, like, three weeks. Or she's going to be back in, like. So, what I need is people who don't need me every day. Because I have friends. Like, I had a friend. Me and her, I, I thought it was a friendship. But then I realized, I don't know if it really was. I don't know. It's weird, right? But I like, the <laughs> king is popping up again. But I liked how me and her... But it was more when she was, like, long distance. Like, we and her would have, like, we would talk sometimes. But, but then again, that was me. Oh, my God. Now I'm thinking about it. That was me. I was the one. I would sometimes barely answer the phone. I'd be, like, tired. Or I'd be, like, this, that, and the third. It, yeah, it's really hard for me. You, I'm a visual person. So I have to, like, visually see the person um, in order for me to really, like, you know what I mean? Like, and then the, the, yeah, like I have better connections with the people that I see every day than I do with people who I hardly see. So that's why, like, usually, like, a lot of my connections with people are people, are, and my friendships with people are people that I go to work with. Or, so I end up making friends with the people I work with or went to school with and things like that because I see you every day. You're like, you're a part of my routine, you're a part of my life. Like, you have to be a part of my life for me to, like, really hone you in as a friend like so if it's inconsistent like if I don't consistently like even it could be like I don't have to necessarily see you every day right but you have I have to have a routine with you because if there's no routine and there's nothing 
then I feel like just as flyby as it is of communicating with you can be your access to me too, right? So like some people, I just disappear altogether. Like you don't know where I'm at. Like you don't follow me on Instagram. You don't follow me. You know, we don't have each other's number, none of those things, right? And then maybe one day I pop up because I follow you on the account. Those usually is like, okay, whatever, because to me, that's why I'm like, okay, well, that's the connect. Like, it's not, we're not besties or friends. Like, you know what I mean? Um, but if, let's say we have this thing where, like, we make sure that we see each other once, once a month or every other month, then I'll be like, okay, like, I'm going to make sure, okay, we talk to each other. And then we make sure, like, we text and I hear from you every week or we talk on the phone every day and then I also see you once a month or something like that. Then I'm not, then of course, I wouldn't just abandon you, right? Like I wouldn't um, just ignore you. But if there's uncertainty in you, if there's like a flimsiness to you, if it's kind of given that disposable energy, then I will, dis- then I, I treat it as such. I, I'll throw it away if not needed, right? Like I'm big on like, like, I'm a person who cleans out my closet. So if I'm a person who cleans out my closet, I also clean out my friends. I also clean out my You know what I mean? So it's like, if I don't wear you, right? Like, you, like I'm the person that I I give to Goodwill the clothes that I don't wear off. Like, if you're not in my rotation, then, there, then I could just dispose of you. Because it's like, well, you're taking up space, right? And so for some people, they take that really big into the heart because it's like what the fuck but it, to me I'm like well what do you mean like we're not you know what I mean like if we hardly talk if I hardly see you then what a, what exactly am I taking what exactly am I taking serious right like what exactly am I do I need to like make sure you know where I'm like you know what I mean like why can't I just pop back up isn't that what the energy it's bringing, right? And so I just think about, I just, I just been thinking about me and my dynamics with people and and things like that. So like, yeah, like I, I'm a, a loner, but if people genuinely is like, no, I'm trying to be a friend or I'm trying to be like someone serious in your life, then absolutely I would not be blocking, ghosting, and, and things like that. I'm going to check on you, and then I'm going to know you, right? I'm going to take this. I'm going to actually get to know you so I know your pattern. So if I know, like, oh, they just didn't because they this, that, and the third. Not, oh, they not. Because I've already been around the people who do that off of some fake shit. And I thought that it was on some, like, you know what I mean? I thought, like, the inconsistency was more of, like, oh, we... That's our, that's just how our connection is more so than, oh, they ain't really fucking with me. They only hang out with me for laughs and things like that. Not laughs, but like laughing at. But then I also, I never felt that way before. I never felt that way until the pandemic. And I think that at that time, I think that I'm looking for a, like, a homey friend group, right? Like, a friend, friends that feel like home, like, they come home, like, they come home with me or I go home to them and, like, we, I wouldn't mind having, like, a friend roommates. Like, a four group roommate type of situation. Like, I like living with people, but I also love living by myself. But I feel like if I live by myself, I'm better at connecting. But if I have a house full of people, then I have a hard time, harder time connecting with other people. But when I'm in an apartment by myself, when I'm in an apartment by myself, then I be like, I feel more social. And I'll be like, oh, let's hang out. Let's do this, let's do that. But if I have, like, an exhausting, like, 
everything in the house, then it's harder for me to really connect with anybody outside of the house. <laughs> it's harder to connect with people outside of the house when it's when your house is is taken from you. If your house replenishes you, then you you better with everybody else. And that's why I be so hungry. So if I could live by myself, I'm better at connecting with folks. Because it's like I fully get to like charge, you know, like it's a difference when your battery is at your phone is at 100 percent versus your phone being at 37 percent. Right. Like you're not going to do as much on 37 percent as you would at 88 at 100. So that's kind of how I feel about myself. (laughs) Like, like, yeah. So that's why I don't be so people be like I'm like. So I'm thinking, like, damn, I, I felt like I had put my life on hold for a lot. But it wasn't that I put my life on hold. It was just that, like, I was trying to get to freedom so that I could be free. Like, if that makes sense, right? And so I kind of, like, been so tunnel vision on that. And I just watched the reading that talked about that, too. Uh, what was it? Poetic the Divine. I was watching a reading from her. And she was saying, like, you you be so focused on this goal that you like neglect like joy and your pleasures and like the things that you want to do and your hobbies and this that and the third but she uh, but not she but spirit had also shown me today that I'm not far behind like I know a lot of creative people who've been creating and having these avenues to create for such a long time, right? They had the opportunity, they had the space, they had the, the parent, parent support, they had this, that, and the third. And for a while, like, honestly, for the last, like, two, three years, well, the last two years, last year and a half that I have been really actually, like, honing in on being an artist, um, these last two years, I, you know, finally... No, these last two years, I was feeling like I was like, I was just like, damn, like, why my mama didn't like, you know, I was like, damn, like, I should have been starting. Like, I feel so behind with being an artist. Like, I should have been learning and doing art at a little age and da 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 da. And like, if I was doing this and took it, and then you're thinking, like, damn, like, I should have took, I should have took this serious, shouldn't have did this, that, and the third. And you're thinking about all that instead of just being like, you know what? And so today I was looking at the people who have had that, right, that I know growing up that had them in the rigorous programs, in the trainings and things like that. And seeing like they still like they're at where they're at, like they're still figuring it out. They're still, um, you know, doing this, that and the third. They just they still have to put out some more of their content. They're still kind of at the same kind of like where you at with with what you're posting is kind of like some kind of the same of where they're at too like doesn't matter like how long or how short you've been doing it if you're an artist you're an artist and your timing and how you came in your development of that is your is on you right and it was funny because I was talking when I first met Peru man was talking I was telling him I was like you know I'm going through an artistic like an artist awakening and like just really coming into myself as an artist and it was really dope like really hanging out and dating an artist to like expand you and then y'all go right but it's all love and every blue moon you be like okay like here's my art where you at like okay this is your art cool 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 all right bye 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 and then you link back with them again see where they are with life right how did they create how did they not only create on a canvas but also how did they create in their life so not only am I a creator, a painter of my, on my work, on my canvas, on my stuff, I'm also creating my life. And so what do I want to put? What pictures do I want? And understanding, and even in that, it takes time, like it takes time with a canvas. I may not always have all the colors. I might have to go and go buy the supply. What I thought and what it, the final product ended up being is something totally different than what I expected and just enjoying it, just as I enjoy the paint, enjoy the art, and not trying to be so perfect, especially when I just freestyle and I'm not trying to paint an actual picture. It's so fun. And so, I 
And so, yeah. And so, yeah. And so I'm exploring, and I've just been going down memory of, like, all these people that I have been friends with. And I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, who did I really, really enjoy being around? Who did I feel my most self with? Who I felt safest to? Those the ones you reconnect with if you feel called to. But those other ones, the ones you felt uncomfortable around, you felt like a weirdo around. Oh, (laughs) that's crazy. Sorry. I just thought about it. I'm like, that's crazy. I just... I was just thinking about somebody. I was just thinking about somebody. And I was like, I think I want to connect with them. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then I just looked at this freaking sign that had their name on it. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, Sorry, y'all. I'm just zoned out for a second. But, um, yeah, I just thought about that. And so, um, if you've been feeling, like, kind (laughs) of down and out about, uh, like, your friend group, understand, like, a new beginning is coming in our friend groups. And you're going to be connecting with some folks. You're like, dang, I forgot about woo-woo. And then you're not going to be connected to some folks. Not everybody you need to connect with. But some people you do connect with. Um... Some friends are soulmates. <laughs> Some friends are soulmates. Some friends understand when you when you go and then you come back, right? Because they understand life. Sometimes you just need to ride life on your own. Sometimes you just got to ride life on your own. Sometimes you just got to take the moment, take that week, take that month on your own. And then come back to folks and then be like, you know what? I fucks with you. I love with you. I love you. I right. And the people who really know your heart and really know your intentions and really is there to make sure that you good is the people like, all right, you all right? You breathing over there, right? Because sometimes I don't want to talk to you, but I'm gonna check up on you. Now, you don't need to talk to me every day, but I'm going to make sure I check on you 
and see you good and then i'm gonna disappear and go on by my business right and then maybe one week you talk to them for a whole week and then the next y'all go on about y'all day y'all expand y'all grow loosen up the bounds to connections that's what spirit said loosen up the bounds to connections we don't need the codependency all the time and sometimes there is a time for it and there's a time for separation there's a time for closeness and then the closeness helps you appreciate the separation and the separation helps you appreciate the closeness you don't want to be because if you together all the time you die your relationship out and you irritable with each other all the time whereas if you take breaks from each other and then come back it's better <laughs> it's better and then you guys kind of get a chance to evolve and you get to see the, the changes in them and you get to it's kind of feeling like getting to know a new person every time you see them you link up all right it's where you been at tell me the stories and then you can listen right like what happened what's been because then i could sit for for three days getting caught up on all, all the tea all for the three years for the five years for the whatever whatever and then I could go on by my business. But you just never know, right? Um, but yeah. Beautiful times, beautiful times. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful times. <laughs> Bye, guys.